Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Montes, I'm going to have a look at a PLA2 from a company called Phila Cube. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament from Phila Cube is a PLA2 a green and it printed really, really easily and I got awesome results with it. But here on the on the note they say it prints at 190 to 230C and room temperature to 50 degrees on the bed and normal PLA speeds and, and temps so to speak. Um, here they say that after they introduced the PLA they are proud to introduce a second generation PLA uh, PLA2. Uh, PLA2 filaments have increased resilient rest less Brittle, a smoother surface finish, strong layer adhesion, low shrinkage and little to no warping. And they're based out of Houston, Texas. And philacube.com is, is their website. So you can have a look, look there. But let's have a look at the prints. So the first print I did was this stringing test. And I had some amount of stringing in the topmost part. Uh, so maybe C-Hop should be disabled for this filament. I was printing at 210 degrees, uh, somewhere in the middle of the range of the recommended temperature. So this is what I got from the stringing test. I then printed out this bridging test and this also so came out excellent. Really, really good bridging and um, just a few strands here in the longest span. But nothing to worry about, so printing was really good for this filament. Also did this overhang test, and here in the 70 degrees, you can see a little bit of drooping. But nothing too bad, so at 70 degrees you should normally be using supports anyway, but uh, it's quite good performance. And after those tests I, I printed out my Mr. Belly, and this one came out excellent. Here's a small drooping issue, there's no supports in this area and it's a pretty steep overhang so this is this is expected but uh, the print was really clear and, and good quality so I was really happy with that one. Also printed out my maker coin and here in the letters there was really good detail and no issues and also the logo here it's coming out excellent and, and no issues to speak of. And here's the artist model by Garrett, and this one came out really clear, no stringing here in between that I get sometimes, and really good surface finish here on the back and here in the overhangs, so really good performance, and also with the Omnum model by Tessa, this one came out excellent, and no issues, so really smooth back here, and I know no issues, sometimes I get an issue here in this part, but not in this filament, it was behaving really nice. And finally I printed the Sir Layers a lot, the mascot from Printed Solid, and this is an autumn, awesome model, and that came out really nice, it's printed out with any infill, and it's not a problem printing this model without infill, so you can print, print those, and it looks super nice, and super smooth here in the back and, and no issues to speak of. So that was my quick look at Philacube PLA2. It was printing really easily for me and gave me excellent results. I definitely give this filament a, a, a go and, and check out their website philacube.com. You can get that filament there. But this will be it for this Megabox Monday video. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment on and share and like and subscribe and all that. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.